Well, hello guys. Now here's a news item that's kind of sad in a way. This is a 64-year-old femon that's had both breasts removed from cancer. Now I'm not making light of this. I've had a few friends who've had cancer and a couple of them haven't survived. So good on this femon for still being here. But femons seem to twist things around all the time to make themselves the victim no matter what. So obviously this femon was devastated of having her breasts removed. But after a while she tried to overcome it. So she had tattoos done on all her chest area. Then I guess she started walking around topless in her own house. Which is fine. But then something happened somewhere other the line. She wasn't very clear about it. But the police had to come round to her house and do an interview. Now, nowadays, most of the policemen are now wearing body cams. So I guess the policeman came to the door and she came topless, as she is. And the policeman said he couldn't come in until she puts a top on. And the femon's kind of acting completely outraged that she couldn't walk around topless in her own home. So she's playing the big victim. But really, it's the policeman that's be the victim. Being a male policeman, he'd come in and do an interview with this femon topless and somebody would see it, and he would be in big trouble, probably lose his job. And don't tell me the femon doesn't understand that. The policeman made quite a normal request, to safeguard himself and the femon. I saw another story too about a completely different femon, not this one, where the police said she was too hot. But the true story was, she was out in public, pretending to dry hump a bollard. And there are laws, against that. There's no laws of being too hot. But once again the Femon tries to make out she's the victim. Femons want to dress like whores and have debauchery all over the place in front of children because they don't care. And then when some decent people tell them to cover up or to stop, they get outraged, don't they? They really are just like children. Even this 64-year-old Femon here is acting like a child. Any normal grown-up or adult would understand the policeman's request. And if I was a policeman with or without a body cam, I wouldn't enter the home either, unless she put a top on. You see, femons, if they sort of undressed naked and walked around their house with the curtains closed, nobody would care. But that's not what femons do, is it? They have to get attention. They have to be exhibitionists everywhere even when children are about. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Does this policeman have every right to say what he did? And the police department should back up this policeman, as men, and white males especially, are guilty until proven innocent. Once again, femons have created the situation out there, and now they moan about it. But then again, they moan about everything, don't they? Link to the story down below, guys. Take it easy.